Am I the asshole for refusing to give up my seats and being crass about it? I, 36F, flew home for Thanksgiving this week and got an early flight this morning so I would be able to do laundry tomorrow and relax before going back to work. I am a plus-size woman. The cause was finally diagnosed after three years of weight gain. I've lost four pounds in the last four weeks. So when I booked my flights, I spent extra money and booked two adjacent seats so whoever had the third seat in my row would not have to be squished up in my business. Flying out was great. The other person in my row was cool and we shared the middle seat in snacks and played Pokemon on our switches and visited each other's Animal Crossing islands. Flying home was where things became a bit more problematic. I was settled into my pair of seats, and a gentleman tried to sit his daughter, 12, not a waif, nor was her overweight dad, in my middle seat, where my bum is taking up a good third of the middle seat. I said politely, I'm sorry, that seat is booked. Your daughter can't sit there, while putting my hand on the other two-thirds s of the seat. He immediately complained that he hadn't been able to book seats together and he needed to sit with his daughter. I shrugged and said I was sorry, but it wasn't my problem, that wasn't his seat. He called over a stewardess to complain. I explained my situation and showed my pair of tickets, and the flight attendant offered to comp my extra seat. I said no thank you, I needed the extra room and waved to where my bum was partway into the middle seat. The stewardess came back 10 minutes later with a wife from a couple who agreed to switch seats so the man could sit with his daughter. But not without attempting to shame me for not be willing to help out a dad in need and commenting about how selfish I was. Edit. The woman who switched seats was rude, not the stewardess. The stewardess was nothing but polite. I said, I booked early, and I booked two seats together because to put it plainly, I'm fat. His two seats were separate seats. How exactly do you propose I split my fat ass in half to sit one half in one seat and the other half in his other seat? The woman turned red in the face and bitched at me for being disgusting. I replied that his lack of planning was not my emergency, and she scowled at me for the entire rest of the flight. When I told my folks about it after I landed, my dad thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever heard, but my mom yelled at him for encouraging him and said I should have been more willing to help out a dad with a kid when I had two seats. So I want to know, am I the asshole? Edit. Oh. I wasn't expecting this much response from folks, although I thank everyone. I went out to eat and then passed out from jet lag. I'll have to start going through comments today. Not the asshole. These airplane issue are getting out of hand. It's very simple. You book a seat, you are entitled to it. People can ask you to change but if you say no, that's it. End of story. I don't understand why people find this basic rule so hard to comprehend. Not the asshole you pay for two seats you get two seats. Am I the asshole for telling my sister to stop leaving her room when she's wearing her nightgown? My 26, female, sister moved in with me 29, female, and my husband 32, male, days ago after her divorce was finalized then lost her job and was no longer being able to pay rent for her apartment. We're mostly in agreement about everything except, I've been kind of having an issue with what she wears especially at night time when she unwind and tend to relax a bit as she says. I think that what she wears is inappropriate. She usually wears silky nightwear, nightgowns mostly. She says that's just her style and is what she's been wearing for years. Not just that, but she'd come out of her room dressing like that to grab water or use the bathroom. While yes, it was just me who saw her dressed like that I honestly could not risk having an argument with my husband over it. I suggested she buy some PJS but she said that she doesn't feel comfortable in them. Last night, I saw her in the kitchen grabbing something from the fridge and was dressed in a purple, strapped, knee-length nightgown. I tried to speak to her about it but it didn't go well. We started arguing and I ended up telling her to stop leaving her room when she's wearing stuff like that and she argued that there was nothing wrong with what she was wearing, that it wasn't like she was walking around naked or anything of the sort. I told her it's my home and she's a guest and should just respect my request but she responded saying that just because she lives in my house does not mean that I have the right to control what she wears then stormed off to her room. We haven't talked since then and she is refusing to talk about it. Edit. I wanna post a pic of the nightgown but don't know how. I'll see what I can do. Edit. Here's the dress. It's not identical but close to what she was wearing, very close. Dot. Look at it and give judgment. Let me know if the link is not working. You are the asshole. She's wearing a knee-length nightgown. What next? She can't show her shoulders? A little bit of cleavage? Her ankles? Info.
What do you mean you couldn't risk having an argument with your husband over it? Purple, strapped, and knee length? What is wrong with that? Are you a nun? Is it sheer, see through? Can you see her tits and her ass? No? You are the asshole. Info. What do you mean by? I honestly could not risk having an argument with my husband over it. Why does anyone need to argue about this at all? Am I the asshole for the way I shut down my cousin's wife? I, 26F. Don't remember how exactly, but when I was in my early teens, I found a great way to shut down rude people. I was overweight in a family of skinny people, so whenever we all met, at least a couple people would tell me, oh, you put on some weight since we last saw you, one day I just started replying with, that's rude, don't you think? People got upset at first, but when my parents backed me up, they learned to leave me alone. Over the years I would reply with something along those lines whenever someone asks, says something they shouldn't. My cousin brought his wife to the family home, grandparents, for Thanksgiving. This is the first time that we met, they live in another state, met and married during the pandemic. We were talking around the table when it was brought up that I changed jobs. I left my father's business for something that uses my degree. Everyone was congratulating me for finally having a foot in the door, and saying that I would have a great career. Then my cousin's wife, out of nowhere, says that I should have been more loyal to my father, that helping him is better and more fulfilling than chasing after a career in my field. So I told her, thank you for the unsolicited opinion on my life, she got upset, and more so when no one rebuked me. Then she said, I was just trying to be helpful, and I replied, and I was just trying to tell you that you were rude, she got more upset, and left the room. But my cousin called me a petty awe, and said that I should know better than to be a bitch to someone who was just stating an opinion. I fired back, and I was also just stating an opinion, it's not my fault she couldn't handle it, now that I had a couple days to think back on. I feel like an asshole for ruining Thanksgiving and making everyone feel awkward. So am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Cousin's wife didn't just offer an opinion. She scolded you for a life choice. She sounded rude and judgmental. I thought your reply was perfect, not rude at all. I'm just so impressed. 100% adopting this method. She's in awe. What a weird bootlicky quirky girl opinion to say out loud after everyone else already congratulated you correctly. Congrats BTW. Don't worry heart exclamation. Not the asshole. You have learned to brush off rude, unwanted comments, but she is a bit of a snowflake in that she is unable to deal with criticism. But if you can't take it, you shouldn't dealing it out. Also who meets extended family for the first time and immediately makes a deeply personal comment. I am imagining she is fairly entitled, unpleasant and socially awkward. No, not the asshole, this is prime Thanksgiving family entertainment. Am I the asshole for getting NY dad kicked out of home? My dad and his wife adopted a boy, one yo? They decided to give my bedroom to him because I'm going to college. My college is in our city so while I am going to college, I stay at home. They told me to take the basement but it's too small so I have to get rid of some of my stuff. The thing is, the home belongs to my grandpa so I called him and told him everything. He called my dad and told him he has a month to find another place to live. My dad and his wife are both mad at me and call me an asshole. Not the asshole, it's your grandfather's house, so it's his decision. I think his decision was a bit harsh, but his house, his rules. If he'd told you to leave instead, you would have had to live with it. Your father, a grown man with a growing family is living in his father's house rent-free, is expecting you to move out while you attend college in the same city you're currently in and pay the rent he doesn't? No wonder your grandfather made this call. Not the asshole, esh. But there were many compromises to be had by everyone in this scenario. Not the asshole. Sounds like this might have been the straw that broke the camel's back for your grandfather. Sounds like your father has been taking advantage of him for years. And honestly your father and his wife chose to bring a baby into a home where there was no space, they need to find somewhere to live with room.